Anderson Cooper 360, weeknights at 8 and 10 on CNN. Time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we have a story from a small town in Arizona with what some see as a very big problem. An artist who recently moved to Paulden, Arizona, put up one of his prized works, a nine-foot-tall metal gargoyle. It has a wingspan of 13 feet and a lot of meaning for the artist, David Smith. It kind of symbolizes fire, because uh, I work metal, and fire has its own spirit. The fire symbolism is not what some of the community, is not what got them all hot and bothered. It's... Well, it's actually reporter William Pitts of KPNX does a good job describing what the controversy is all about, so I'm just going to let him tell you about it. But it's not the size of the whole statue that has the county up in arms. It's the size of something else. And let's just say it is in proportion to a man nine feet tall. It just seemed like it needed to be there. I don't like Ken dolls. <laughs> okay. I'm going to teach you a little news jargon here. This is what we in the business call an affiliate package. The gargoyle is anatomically correct and in proportion, apparently, so some people have a giant problem with it. Here's a county official. The frontal nudity of the, the statue um, was offensive and they were concerned their children were walking by it. Now, the artist says it was not his intention to disturb anyone. It wasn't put on there to offend anybody. That isn't the reason. Everything has a sex. Everything has a sex. I'd say he should take this up with some sort of artist union, but I have no idea if he's a member. P.S. Can we just take a moment and acknowledge the extraordinary camera work in this package? And I use the term package carefully. This is some really creative shooting here. By the way, they, they never do show the offending pen, appendage. It must be too graphic, but they really do manage to get the point across. So now the county says the artist has to take down the gargoyle or at least get it out of the public's view or else he'll have to pay a $1,000 fine, which is not fine with the artist who says he's getting the shaft. I thought I was living in a free country. They don't like it, don't look. If this is incompatible, I'm incompatible. I honestly thought I had freedom of speech and I will fight this. I won't let them take it away from me. Something I worked too hard on. Seriously, is this a free country or what? I mean, it's getting to be the point where you can't even put up a nine foot gargoyle with full frontal nudity anymore without someone complaining. But fear not, edgy artists of the world, your work will always have a home in the Museum of the Ridiculous.